You see, Jason Statham action movies can actually be pretty cool. So I just saw The Beekeeper, the brand new action Jason Statham action film directed by David Ayer. Same guy that did movies like Suicide Squad and my favorite film from him, End of Watch. Now David Ayer is a really, really good filmmaker and he seems to be a little bit overqualified to be making a Jason Statham January action film about a guy who keeps bees. And if you didn't know he keeps bees, they let you know in this movie quite a few times that this guy He's a fucking beekeeper. Now, David Ayer is obviously a guy that made amazing movies like End of Watch. He also wrote Training Day, which is a phenomenal movie. He made Fury, which I really like. A bunch of other movies that I know people are really into. Suicide Squad, not really his movie. More of Warner Brothers movie that they slice and diced from a movie that he made. But either way, I digress. And of course, this is starring Jason Statham, a guy who's known for making really generic action movies that you shut your brain off and try to enjoy. And this is another one where you kind of just have to shut your brain off. Just enjoy Jason Statham kicking ass. And I will say the main thing I appreciated from this movie is the fact that they didn't try to make Jason Statham into a Marvel character. They didn't try to make him into a goofball where he's telling jokes and making quirky references, which they have done with him in so many other movies. In this movie, he's just a fucking beekeeper. He keeps his mouth shut. He's quiet from, for the most part. He kicks ass. And that's the movie. This movie reminded me a lot of like early 2000s, late 90s action movies. Stuff that would be starring guys like Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Just these really simple action films that don't try to be more than you're expecting them to be. It's a really simple movie that kind of follows that John Wick mold of something happens to the main character. He has a past where he was this badass action guy and, you know, special ops person. And there you go, he's on kind of this revenge quest, and you have a movie, and that's essentially what this is. It's a John Wick ripoff, in a way, but John Wick kind of ripped off other movies, so it's maybe not the right thing to call it that, but it's essentially that same mold of film, and I think it does it really kind of well. I'll say this movie early on kind of sells itself as this movie that takes itself super seriously. It has a plot, or at least a hook for the character of the beekeeper, that you really understand. It's an old lady getting ripped off and some terrible stuff happens, and you're like, yeah, these people deserve to get fucking killed for this. And the movie does embrace a silly side, but it still sticks to its seriousness, which I didn't love because there's a lot of stuff in this movie that is super, super goofy and you just can't take it seriously. And I thought the movie wanted me to take it seriously until I got later in the plot and it just went balls to the wall crazy. Like when the conspiracy of this movie is revealed, when like the big boss actually comes out, it's as high stakes as you could really get. And honestly, they, they do kind of cop out a little bit. They don't go all the way within it. If you've seen the movie, you know what I mean. I don't want to spoil it. I wish they had gone all the way and made kind of like the final boss of this movie. The final boss. But they sort of cop out to stop, stop themselves from having to have that difficult conversation with their audience or that difficult conversation in the script of how do you handle this kind of situation if you're the beekeeper or if you're a writer just having to handle this subject matter but they they really kind of cop out a little bit at the end but i was still like pleasantly surprised like holy shit I can't believe they went there. But also the whole cast does a great job. Josh Hutcherson is amazing. He's kind of on a roll right now. Five Nights at Freddy's. Didn't love that one, but he's great in this movie. He's just playing this dipshit Mark Zuckerberg-like asshole, and he's awesome in the role. You hate him, and you're supposed to hate him. He's the best heel you can ever ask for. He's great in this film. And Jason Statham, what can I say? Yeah, I mean, if you've seen any other Jason Statham movie, you know what you're getting. He's badass. He's awesome. He sells the male action star male action hero better than just about anybody in Hollywood at the moment and he's awesome in this film the whole lore of the beekeepers what these people are it's really fucking goofy but also sort of interesting not as interesting as something like you know in John Wick the whole lore behind that system and the system of Hitman that's way more interesting and way more deserving of spin-offs and sequels and whatnot what not. I'm not really sure I need to see a beekeeper you know continental like spin-off series to explain the ins and outs of this society of people who keep be, you know, keep bees and and stuff and, and like to drink honey or do you drink honey? I, I don't know. I'm stupid. But the film does at least leave a little bit room of intrigue open that they could explore in a sequel, I guess, if people are interested in that. And the actual Beekeeper Society is interesting enough to draw your attention in this movie and be like, wow, Jason Statham, like, I kind of want to see him fight other beekeepers, maybe. Uh, probably not. Oh, and the action. I've barely talked about the action. The action of this movie, yeah, it's fucking great. I mean, if you like Jason Statham, you know what you're getting. Uh, it's hard hitting. There's some really good hand-to-hand -hand stuff here, some really gruesome kills. Uh, nothing that you haven't seen before, like I'll say that, it's not like you're seeing stuff in this film that you haven't seen in a million other things before, but you're seeing some pretty good shit here. There's some really, really interesting kills, really interesting stuff being done in this film that I liked. There's one with a car and a bridge that, you know, was simple, but I liked it. I, th I was like, that guy was an ass. He deserved that shit. 
that was good. But overall, I don't really have much bad to say about this film. The only thing I will say is I feel like David Ayer is kind of like way overqualified to be making a movie like this. David Ayer is a phenomenal filmmaker, a really great writer. If you really look at his filmography, I know a lot of people hate him because he's had some stinkers over the past few years. A lot of people consider Suicide Squad the stinker. He, ma he made that movie with Shia LaBeouf that really wasn't great. But this is a guy who's made some really legendary films, some movies that are really great, really deep. And, and it's kind of weird to see somebody like that making a movie like this. It's almost like when David Fincher last year made The Killer, which in all, you know, in all terms is a very similar movie. It's really just an action movie uh, that, that delves on a really simple revenge story. But David Fincher added his Fincher-esque style to that film to make it stand out from the rest of the bunch in that genre, which is why I loved it. And I'm not really sure David Ayer does enough to do that here. Like, if you told me this movie was directed by no-name Yes Man director number four, I would have said, well, yeah, that's obvious. Uh, you know, it's actually kind of surprising to see that this is a David Ayer movie, because he is such a great visionary director. He's a great, great writer and filmmaker. And I think this movie's great. I just think it, it, I'd like to see him do something different than something like The Beekeeper. But I love his attempt to try to build a franchise, which is definitely what they're gonna try to do with this. They're gonna hope it makes a ton of money. Start a franchise, The Beekeeper 2, coming to you next year. But overall, I enjoyed The Beekeeper. I will give it a three out of five. It's the best movie of 2024 so far of the two movies I've seen. Night Swim was a piece of shit. But yeah, did you guys see The Beekeeper? Let me know down below. Make sure to like this video, subscribe for more. Make sure to click on the video on your screen right now. I'll see you guys in the next video.